It is cold, wet, and all kinds of nasty outside. So why not lift everyone's spirits a little by bringing the beach inside? I'm making this delicious shrimp bake that's good enough for a special occasion and easy enough for a weeknight meal. It's a little slice of summer that everyone's gonna love. So let's get started. Let's take a look at the ingredients and there are no measurements here. You make this one how you like it and you can make as little or as much as you need and the process is gonna be just the same. So let's start with the shrimp. And I've got some nice 13 to 15s here that I really like. And if you wanna add in clams or mussels or crab in here, you're only gonna be making it better. Now it is winter time, so frozen corn is as good as we're gonna get. It's not gonna be like the super sweet and juicy fresh corn, but it's gonna get the job done. I've got some small red potatoes and a couple of kinds of sausage. I got the red pepper and garlic sausage that I made for our crawdad boil and I just pulled off some venison kielbasa the other day. And you can look around on the channel and find both of those recipes. Got a handful of bay leaves, another handful of garlic cloves, some lemon and lots of melted butter. The first thing I'm gonna do is season my shrimp. And I like to do this first so they got a little time to kind of soak up that seasoning while I'm getting everything else ready. So use your favorite seasoned salt or your own spice blend. What I like to do is use this very popular seasoning and add a bunch of cayenne into it. So, Want to get a good coating of that seasoning all around the shrimp. And now I'll put these in the refrigerator while I get everything else ready. I'm using these small red potatoes, but they're not small enough that I can just throw them into the bake raw and have them cooked through. So I'm gonna boil these for 10 or 12 minutes or until they just get tender. Now, maybe if you use the really, really tiny potatoes, you can just throw those in there raw, but I've never tried it. So if you do, let me know if it works out. Now, I think I'm gonna cut these sausages in half. Of course, you can leave them whole or cut them as big or as small as you like. All right, let's take a look. I'll just stab one of these with a skewer. And it goes all the way through. They're not super easy. They're not really squishy yet. They're just barely done. And they'll finish cooking all the way in the oven. So, now let's put this together, and it couldn't be easier. I'm just gonna throw in the potatoes and the corn, and this corn's been sitting out for a little bit while I was putting this together, so it's thawed out. You could actually boil that a little bit first if you wanted to. Now we've got those sausages, the oh, crawfish, yeah. red pepper and garlic sausage, the kielbasa made from venison, and I also like a nice spicy andouille in here, or little Spanish chorizo or you could use a linguisa if you don't want it that spicy. All right now we've got let's go ahead and toss in our garlic cloves and now we'll season all of this really well. The seasoned salt. The shrimp of course are already seasoned so that's why I season this stuff separately. We'll get those in there. And now, we'll give all of that a nice dousing of melted butter. Yeah, make sure you get enough in there that everybody can get a nice buttery sheen. Oh yeah. Perfect. this down into our baking dish. All right, let's toss in some bay leaves here and there. They're really not gonna do a whole lot, but they look cool. Same with some lemon slices. All right. Ow. Get a really good tight wrapping with foil because I want that to kind of steam up in there. So get a good seal all the way around. Oh, 
But I like a nice hot oven here, so I'm gonna pop this into a 400 degree oven for 35 minutes. Ooh, I can hear it bubbling away in there, so I'm gonna let this rest for just a little bit before I pop that foil off, because it's gonna be real hot in there. All right. Careful pulling this off. There's gonna be some hot steam coming out of there. Did. Of course, I'm going to serve that up with a nice little bowl of clarified butter for dipping and plenty of lemons. And I like to hit mine with a little bit of hot sauce. Now, if I'm feeling real bold, I'll go with that Reaper stuff. Now, let's try this out. Ah, who am I kidding? I go full barbarian style and eat this with my hands. Woo! Oh yeah, check out that shrimp. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm. Now of course I gotta try some of that sausage. Ooh, that's that venison kielbasa right there. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. Woo! Oh man. I mean, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I don't need to tell you, you can tell just by looking at this that it's just plain delicious. The shrimp are nice and fat and juicy, and that sausage. <laughs> oh boy. I tell you, if they ain't showing up for the shrimp, they'll be breaking down the door trying to get at that sausage. <laughs> What an easy and fun dish, and it's a great way to brighten up a gloomy day. Well, I really hope you try this one, and I know you're gonna love it. Thanks for watching.